Hello, good friends. Today's book is called Usborne Bugs Matching Games. It teaches us about different kind of bugs, and then you can play the games. We're not actually going to talk about the games today because that's too hard to do on video. But I thought that we could learn all about bugs. There are so many bugs. Spider. Spider spilled webs out of sticky silk to catch flies and other insects. Snails live in damp areas of the garden and hide from enemies in their hard spiral shells. European peacock butterfly. This butterfly has beautiful wing patterns that look like a peacock's tail feathers. Black ants can be found marching through the garden looking for sweet things to eat. Tiger beetles are fast, fierce hunters, speeding along the ground to catch other insects. Cinnabar moth caterpillar. This striped caterpillar will one day become a black and red moth. Wasp. Wasps buzz around at picnics looking for sweet treats. Watch out for their stingers. Red soldier beetle. These beetles can be seen in the summer feeding on nectar from flowers. Tortoise beetle. This beetle can tuck its legs and feelers in when it's scared, just like a tortoise. Summer azure butterfly. These pretty butterflies flutter around grassy places on sunny days. Cabbage worm. This hungry bug loves to eat vegetables that are growing in the garden, especially cabbages. A grasshopper makes a chirping sound by rubbing its legs against its wings. Dragonfly. Dazzling dragonflies dart around above ponds and rivers. Alderfly. This large lazy fly spends most of its time sitting on plants that are near water. Damselflies often perch on grass stems around water. Stag beetle. It has huge jaws, but this beetle can't eat solid food. It drinks tree sap instead. Millipede. Its name means a thousand feet, but a millipede really only has between 40 and 400 legs. Ladybugs are bright red to tell hunters that they don't taste nice. Leafcutter ant. Hard-working leafcutter ants can carry pieces of plants many times heavier than themselves through the rainforest. Swallowtail butterfly. There are over 550 kinds of swallowtail butterflies in the world. Many of them live in warm, tropical places. Crane flies can often be seen near water or flying around lights at night. Shiny June beetles love to eat fruit such as berries, grapes, figs, and peaches. Saturnia moth. This moth has marks on its wings that look a bit like eyes to scare away enemies that come near. Black swallowtail caterpillar. This caterpillar will one day become a beautiful black swallowtail butterfly. Aphid. Aphids are tiny, but they can harm plants by drinking their sap. They are often seen on rose bushes. Hoverfly. They look a bit like wasps, but hoverflies don't sting. They love to feed on nectar from garden flowers. Comma butterfly. This butterfly's wings look like dead leaves, making them harder for enemies to see when they're resting. Hill bugs live beneath rocks and plant pots, cleaning up the garden by eating dead leaves. A bumblebee's tongue can stretch as long as its body, helping it to reach inside flowers and drink their nectar. Red spider mites are tiny. They're only about the size of two grains of sand. Shiny blue bottles make a loud buzzing noise as they fly green stink bug. These bugs can give off a strong smell to scare away enemies. 
A firefly's light flashes on and off, so it's sometimes called a lightning bug. Ground beetles hunt other insects at night and rest under logs and stones during the day. A centipede has lots of legs but terrible eyesight. It uses its feelers to find its way around. Devil's Coach Horse Beetle. This fierce-looking beetle opens its jaws and lifts its tail up when it feels scared. That's all the bugs in this book, but that was an awful lot of bugs. I hope you guys have a lovely day and take care.